The racial slur reached African immigrants in our area and they are speaking out as well. 13 News Now reporter Tanu Her spoke with a man who lives in Newport News, but he's from Sudan. What is right, his guys. Reaction? Well, this man is from South Sudan and he was he came to America in 2001, a war torn country. Now he has been here since 2001 and he came here with no education, but has since been able to achieve many things that he's worked for. He says the president's comments were hurtful, but not discouraging. He's moving forward using this as motivation to prove that immigrants like him have something to offer. From South Sudan to the United States, it didn't take Angelo Maker but a few years to become a United States citizen. I came to the United States with the hope that when I come here, I will work hard and make a difference in my life. While working multiple minimum wage jobs, Angelo also pursued education. He now has a master's degree in organizational leadership. I would not be able to get that if I was uh, back home. Uh, but now I work hard for it and uh, the opportunity available for all of us. His story and others like his, fleeing from an African country to the United States, became the focus in America after reports of President Donald Trump becoming angry during an immigration meeting, calling African countries and Haiti expletive countries. I'm doing the American dream. I pay tax. I've been working two or three jobs. I pay tax like any other Americans. I went to schools. My wife is a school teacher. She teaches, teaching American children. There's a whole lot of Africans that work for the U.S. Army, and they are fighting hard for our country, for him. Angelo and his wife Stephanie call the president's remarks offensive and shocking and not representative of America. Our president, you need to be very careful because he's dividing this country. Immigrant or American-born, Angelo thinks actions speak loudest. That what they need to know is not where they come from or the color of your skin is what you can contribute to the society. Now, Angelo and his wife also run a nonprofit helping his home country of South Sudan. He and his wife have built a school for hundreds of kids, as well as an internet cafe in his native home. Chinuher, 13 News Now.